A quick look at the meter here. Ah, uh, 22 kilowatts. It was 19 this morning. Very good. I'm going to try to hold this camera real steady. Uh, see, today's power was uh, 303 on the end phase. I'm going to uh, click this. Wait a minute. Let me go back. Uh, it's hard to keep the camera steady. Let's look at today's graph. And you can see over here at uh, 7 o'clock it woke up. And then you see from here on, there's not much happening. That's because the uh, that's the tracker all the way out by the street. And the tracker with the LPC dual axis blocks half of those panels off from right up until 9.45 when they stopped making power. And then today was a pretty sunny day. And you can see the, the graph is pretty much going along all day long. And then 5 o'clock it starts dropping down. And she shut off at 7 o'clock for a total of 303 kilowatts. I look down here at the, uh, my little book for the week. Canadian Solar, one did 4.15, the other power jack did 4.27, and the mixed uh, panels through the power jack, which is the other side of the two the end phases on, only made 2.23, so it was a 26% improvement. Throughout the week, I've been uh, keeping track of this pretty steady, and on the, the weather it's been kind of partly cloudy. The end phase have been pretty much rocking at 28 to 30 percent improvement on the mismatched panels. So hopefully next weekend, uh, by Friday, I should have six more uh, 215s. So all my uh, 60 cell panels, which would be all the four tracker, four panel trackers, will all be hooked up to the end phase. And then we'll see how it goes from there, but uh, yesterday I did almost 18 kilowatts, and I bet when I add this up it's going to be close to that again today. So, I'm uh, looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a pretty phenomenal change, because all of those panels, the six Flutechnics, are all different, and the two trainers match. So I'm going to take my one of the three... Canadian solar trackers. I'm going to hook those three 47 volt panels into my Flex Max 80 to the battery switch. One panel will be hooked full time to the battery bank and the other two will go through the power jack because today I was getting through the power jacks I was getting readings of up to 640 watts but I'm in this deep I'm going to turn those uh, three of the Canadian Solar, all one of those three panel trackers. I'm going to turn those into the Enphase 210s because they're good for up to uh, 60 volts. And then that one tracker with the three Canadian Solar will be uh, on a power jack in my battery bank. So I'm in this deep. What's, you know, another 600 bucks at this point. It's a lot of money, that's what it is. But anyway, this is the update on the end phase versus the power jack ver on the mixed panels and I got unfortunately eight mixed panels so I should easily be able to uh, increase my 17 kilowatts a day by 30 percent which would put me uh, should put me over my 20 kilowatt a day goal okay that's enough that's the update on that anybody that was wondering they are of course as you already know superior